Hi there guys, it's Pip here from pipweekly.com So today I just want to talk to you about acting with full capacity. So it is coming up to exam time and um, you know, I'm sure you've got a, a ram, cram, packed full timetable if you are studying for exams and if you are, good luck to you. Uh, obviously take care of yourself and you know, I know it's important to study but don't forget to do things like to eat and to, uh, to take some time out, that's actually very important. Um, it will be actually be more detrimental to you if you don't do those things. Um, but the reason I want to talk to you about this is because acting with full capacity is, uh, is a life lesson. Uh, it's not something that you just do at school, so uh, for those of you who are coming to study exams, um, I just want to let you know that it doesn't stop after that. Um, it's not as hard, obviously, as taking exams might seem. But, um, what happens to a lot of adults, and I just want to tell you about this um, because it's an interesting uh, thought. We do our exams, as you guys are going to go through, and then we get into a job um, and you stop. You stop growing, you stop developing, you stop uh, improving yourself. And um, one of the things I really want to talk to you about at this moment in time because I know you, you've got your head into books and um, you know you're, you're revising your vocab, you, you, you're going through all the you know maybe maths equations, maybe uh, science equations, trying to remember things, trying to put things together, uh, complex stuff and um, you know it's, it's not just about remembering those sorts of things, it's about um, investing in yourself as well, you know as I said don't forget to go out and, and see your friends and that's it, investing in yourself, you know, your, your relationships are very important. So don't feel like you can't do that and um, I just want to let you know that after exams the learning doesn't stop. Um, it's a different type of learning. Uh, I remember a series of Blackadder actually, you know, with uh, Rowan Atkinson who plays Mr Bean in and um, he said, oh, I was educated at the School of Hard Knocks and uh, then in the University of Life um, and this is so true um, you don't stop growing just because you know maybe you, you are going to university but maybe you aren't maybe you want to just step into college or an apprenticeship or, or maybe you just want to go straight into uh, a job like I did when I left school I was really fed up I got good A levels um, took four A levels got good results um, but I'd known nothing but school since I was four so I, I, I personally wanted to change that was the path I took. Um, so I know you are going to relax after the exams finish and um, do obviously do that you, you deserve that uh, and that will come to you so just keep pushing and you will have that period of grace coming to you. Um, but please know after that what so many people do after they pass their final exams, they go, that's it, no more exams, step into a job and become comfortable and they stop and that's when you hear these stories of people saying, oh I fell into a job and haven't moved in like 20 years, which is nothing wrong with that if that's a job that you love and you're, you're really passionate about and it gives you a sense of meaning and fulfilment in your life and of course everybody is different. Um, but I know today, for example, I was in my job, uh, I'm a cleaner at the time of this recording and um, really struck me, I thought, oh, gosh, I'm not even acting on 10% of my capacity. You know, I've lost so many skills since I left school and I just want to say to you that what you're learning now is not just to pass exams, it's to prepare you for life. You probably can't see that at the moment. Um, but even things like French, I know a lot of people in my year hated French, I loved it actually. Um, the amount of people you can talk to around the world with French, for example, is, is phenomenal. You know, not just in France, um, but all across the world. Spanish as well, you can talk to a lot of Latin America if you have Spanish. Um, maths, you know, budgeting, maybe you're going to go into architecture, you know, it could be a million and one things. Um, so, the learning that you're doing is very important, but just to warn you in advance, you are going to continue learning after this. Uh, it's a different style of learning, um, but you've got a lot going for you right now. <coughs> you've learned a lot over your years and years of school, 
So um, good luck to you. Um, don't take uh, the breaks off too much. Obviously, allow yourself that that rest of time, but don't just think to yourself that you can't make it at this moment in time. Um, do a little bit. I they say that um, 90 minutes is um, you know past 90 minutes, you, your concentration starts to waver. So you actually actually do like three hours of revising but it'll actually be of a poorer quality than if you just did 90 minutes. Apparently that's the secret number, so I'm told at this moment in time. Um, so little nothing, lots of breaks, uh, lots of fresh air. Don't do what I did, which is to spend half your time indoors looking outside, thinking I'd really like to be there. You know, scheduling those breaks, uh, ice creams, uh, treats, because you're doing amazing. Um, and it's all about the balance and I have to tell you right now that no matter what grades you get it's about what you do after that and um, you know any anything that you th are thinking right now I think I'm going to fall short in this subject or that subject or I'm not feeling competent and, and, and I'm trying and trying and it's just not going for me and I can't cram that anymore in and I can't do this and it's overload and no matter what grade you get okay it's it's just a matter of taking what's in there and putting it on paper okay and just because you get a bad grade it doesn't mean that you are not an intelligent person okay some of the most intelligent people on the planet cannot explain what it is that they are doing because either their communication skills are not that great you know maybe they, they um, are autistic or maybe that's just not their strong point it's not actually everybody's strong point um, or, or it's just so mind-boggling that, you know, to explain it to a normal person would blow their mind, you know. Think of Sheldon Cooper, for example, in The Big Bang Theory. Um, so don't stop acting on your full capacity. You've got what it takes, um, and that's just my message for today. So that's all from me, and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye.